Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jeremy back with some more Shen gameplay versus Volleyball in the top lane. Uh, you see, I put my Q blade up there just so when he walks with the wave, hopefully, I can get a pretty easy Q uh, through him to get the empowered auto attacks with the attack speed. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, you're enjoying some Darius, uh, some Shen gameplay, some Yorick and Urgot, as well as Alawi, of course. Alawi is going to be a lot, lot more. You see, I'm getting a good trade. Look how good that is. Bam. It's pretty good. We can back off. Just use our grass proc. We might even get another Q in through him. Okay, let's get it out. Ooh, his empowered auto attack stacking is actually starting to be problematic. And he has a knight and an advantage, and now he's got level two, so I just want to be careful. He has no flash. Yeah, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, of course, uh, for all kinds of uh, Lowey or uh, uh, League of Legends content. It's pretty. Oh, oh well. Now, one of the big things, uh, one thing I love about Shen is he's like kind of testing my macro capability. Uh, it's really interesting being able to like use teleport and, and your ult to like move around the map really efficiently and help your team out. Anyway, we're just kind of chilling right now. I'm about to be level three. That'd be nice. Let's dodge that E. It's gonna get damage. I could have probably traded better there, but one of the things about Shen is you want to look, you kind of like this positioning because if you have your taunt up and he walks up too far, it, again, he doesn't have flash. If I taunt him under turret, especially if he's already got turret aggro, he's pretty dead. Like, oh, didn't quite work out. He moved up enough. He's my W there just to block uh, his auto attacks and no harm, no foul here. One of the things I find difficult about Shen is just CSing in general. I like to, I'm probably going to rush a Tiamat this game. I'll try to buy Tiamat more often, which really helps a lot. Use that empowered Q auto attack to secure the CS under the turret. I don't know if Volibear is in the bush next to me or not, so I'm kind of going to play down here. You know, he could have reset, but he could have also been trying to cheeky, kind of cheese me with a, some sort of combat of that bush. Looks like he actually did back. That's a little bit awkward because now, since he did actually recall and I played around him not recalling, uh, I did not hard push this wave. So now you're going to see this wave kind of freeze here and it's a little awkward. Um, Kinder did get top scuttle, but this is kind of where he wants me because he has ghost. I have flash. Ghost will do a lot more in a, in a long extended fight. So I've got to play this really careful. We see Silas here as well, so I'm not going to do anything. If anything... I'm going to try to do my best to bait Silas to stay as long as possible. There's no top jungle camps for him to take on our side. So they're probably going to wait till I go for cannon. Now I'm going to be very disciplined. I'm not going to walk up. I think we just saw him walk over the top rift, but maybe not. Two men. Oh, okay. Yeah, we see him then. So. Still really hard to fight him because I think he is stronger just with his reset and the summoner, the more aggressive summoner spells. That's alright, we're not going to win this game off CS. We're going to win off of uh, our ability to outplay him in the mid game. Very calm here. Maybe wait for Kha'Zix and Alistair to warm up? That could be big. Okay, okay. I was hoping an E or something. Alright, we got his ghost. Oh, my team's distracted. Okay, we could push in and crash and try to like fight this. We've got a numbers advantage. Oh no, we're not gonna crash quick enough. Yeah, wait for that to come up. Nice. Follow up. Big, perfectly done on the uh, tower aggro situation. That's so big too, because Flybear's gonna miss all this. It's really, honestly, really good play for my support to room up. I mean, we have an Ezreal ADC, so if you're playing support and you're playing a, a, a melee initiator and you have an Ezreal ADC, you can go for these really long extended absences from top lane. And you don't really punish too much because Ezreal's really hard to dive. He's really hard to kill. He can see us pretty safely with ease. Uh, Ezreal reminds me of what we call in Han or Dota as a suicide laner where he can stay very safely in a long lane alone. And he won't get too much, but he can do enough and get experience. Okay. Cool. Fifteen hundred gold, first reset. Not many, not much CS, but we're getting. We got the plates. We got the assist. We can teleport back to land. 
I'm gonna go Tiamat here just to help with CSing. We'll build it into Titanic later. We get boots. Now we got ult. All good things. Another thing to think about. Um, if you're playing Shen and you want to get back to top lane after you reset, if you have ult up, you can actually ult your jungler. In fact, I'll ult my jungler here. Even though I'm already top lane. Yeah, you're done. Cool. Again, good movement from Alistar. Ka definitely dies there if I don't do that. Pushes back in the Ka, help him get that. We'll go back top. I wasn't in a rush to get the top lane, because if you look at the minimap, you can just kind of count the ma minions, and I think it's... Yeah, it's in our favor, so it would push into us. So I'm not in a rush to get the top lane. I don't miss out on as much as a uh, Volibear would. So when you bring your da your uh, blade through a champion, you get, I think, 40% attack speed. Which is why Tiamat feels pretty nice. I didn't deny the cannon here. That kind of sucks. Press on. It's, like, kind of awkward. I can't do too much here. I'll help him get rift. I don't really see that, uh, there being much interest in trying to, like, fight him under turret too much. I don't think I can realistically do anything. And I only extend myself to being ganked by junglers, so I might as well, like, kind of maybe roam a little bit, see what's going on around the map. I could have looked for a mid gank. And also help him get rift. So we just went with the rift play because Kha'Zix was around. Let's see if we can get him here with the uh, taunt. Remember, he doesn't have flash, so... Come on! Nice. Good job. And since he doesn't have teleport, I mean, it's just another easy push. Big. Oh, there's Silas. That's kind of annoying. I think I'd rather reset now. Take the ward out that he put down. I've got a lot of gold. And now I can just... I'm just going to reset for a tempo reset. I would have taken a plate, but oh well. I'm gonna go heart sealer or heart steel. Our wills align. The Shen's items are pretty interesting now. You have pretty good options. I mean, you can go Jack Cho, you can go heart steel, you can go Iceborne Gauntlet, you can Sunfire, Ta Tiamat. I wonder if there's a world where you ever go like an AD like <laughs> Sheen item. Just I don't know Shen. Get Trinity for Shen, that could be wild. From the shadows. Just wait. Let him push in. I mean, there's no reason to take any risk. My jungler is bot side. In theory, their jungler should be bot side because of Drake, but you don't really know that. So. It's kind of a test, uh, kind of the typical strategy for me is. I'll typically be pretty risk averse, and I'll just try to make guesses on jungle raids. It's like the polar opposite of the boss, which I love watching the boss, and I think I'm pretty sure I have a large shared community with him. Oh, which is funny because we're like polar opposites. This is great for me. Okay, yeah, hold on. Okay, he's kind of beating me up. I am perfectly okay with him stopping my back. What I was hoping is. I was actually hoping that my ult would shield and then I, he would stop my back, or my ult. Because I don't think I help kill anyone there. I was just trying to save Ezreal. And I don't really want to leave, because if I leave, he gets... I mean, he gets a lot off of it. He would get, we got multiple plays. He's kind of he's kind of acting like... You know, he's got to be careful. I could E him under turret, and he'll get rolled. Where are you, Volibear? Kind of like earlier, he could be cheesing me. But I think he actually reset after last time. Kind of. Oh, he went mid. Okay. Well, cool. Thanks to Tiamat, we can push pretty quickly. Okay, he's kind of heading back top. I think we get a few plates, maybe. Or not. Not having demolish is pretty garbage, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should go demolish. 
But Shield Bash seems so good on Shen. Because he has so much shield. No, I think you should go Shield Bash. You shield so much if you play Shen correctly. I wanted to push this. Good, and he is. That's what I wanted. I want to I wanna chill in lane until my teleport's up. In a minute, I have teleport ult. So so if I can just kind of go even for a bit and then look for some plays with teleport and ult up, I could do some pretty neat macro plays. Not barely in range of turret. Sorry, this guy's really tempting, like, fate with the way he's positioning on the edge of the tower circle. Let's try again. Ult's coming up. Oh, oh we got him. He's done. He's done. Yeah. I mean, it's just one of the, it's it's a very like Cassante, Tom Kench style of gameplay where you you can just kind of hold the turret wave or the wave near your turret and then you look for a way to pull him under turret and get the kill with the turret damage on your side. I receive a lot mid. I've got my jungler in mid, kind of top side ish, which is good to see. Oh, good use of Tiamat. Oh, we see everyone on the map. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. We don't have ult for 15. I wish I had ult to make this play a little safer. Oh, yeah, we have Kindred Shen, which is kind of cute. I don't have ult. No, don't die, please. Yo, what's up? Oh. Let's try to push one more into a reset. I've got a lot of gold. No. That big. Man, I don't know where Volibear is. I don't know why he wouldn't be back to lane yet. Making me that kind of makes me think he went somewhere else. Like he kind of ran towards mid or be great rage quit. Oh, there he is. I don't. Yeah, he was kind of running towards mid. I guess he must have path mid to top. Which is really common if you're if you're a top laner and you're resetting and it kind of looks like there's a fight mid. You can rotate through mid towards top and it's it's not too inefficient. It's a little inefficient, but it's not bad. Wave player. I kind of would like to. Bro, are you gonna do this again? I kind of want to get the heart seal, like, really badly. 96 CS. That's not terrible on Shen. 4 KP. That's. As a top lane, it's perfectly acceptable. I'm just letting him push. If I don't show him lane, he's just gonna push. The threat of me, like, working the map makes him want to continually push. Nice. Played a lot of Alawe and Darius the last few days. I think I need to play some Shen, though. Shen's a lot of fun. 84 gold? I can sell Bottle. I think it's worth to do right now. Big. Once I get to Tiamat, that'll, that'll, that'll really go effectively with Sunfire, Cape, and Tiamat. Or, um, Titanic Hydra. I have old. Definitely watching for a play here. Just don't know who I should use it on. Okay, the fight kind of died down. I flashed Taunt as well. Big. Might want to just get some procs. Thank you. Big. Big. Taunt in three. Not going to be able to. Really good fight, though. Wow, I'm already at 100, 100 uh, health off of Heart Seal. Got a lot of sacks. It's really easy to get sacked with Kindred R. <laughs> it's really good synergy. No, no! Okay, this guy. All right, you got me, buddy. You got me. I greeted, and you got me. That's okay. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's just a Maokai support. Like, if anything, I give my shutdown gold to Maokai support. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's what I was going for, actually. Get the kill. Give the shutdown to Maokai. Now we didn't get the kill, so we kind of just gave up our shutdown. But it's okay. Get Merc Shred's really valuable into Volibear, Maokai, Silas. There is no uh, lots of CC. Vladimir, some AP damage. It's at least a fish hit to buy. 
Still looking for R's. They might think that my R's on cooldown. Big. Yeah. Massive. And I give up a wave top, but it's okay. We still have Volley very rotating. We're like a very versatile, we're very versatile, supportive carry kind of kind of role right now. So Envision out. I'm going to actually move towards bot. I'm going to preemptively move bot here. They're going to roam bot to kill Ezreal. Look how far up he is. Yeah. And I think Twitch is here too. Yeah, yeah, there's Twitch. Me and Alistair, we all read the play. My whole team. Big. Kind of waiting to use my taunt. Yeah. There was no rush. I was hoping to see if I could get like Twitch or something as well, but... Once he started to run out of way, we just use that. Cool. Yeah, like this is like very different game. This is a very different style of play from Malawi, but it's really fun to showcase some different styles of gameplay. You know, there are multiple ways to play Lee, even within certain champions, there are multiple ways you can play certain champions. I'm just gonna dive this. I'll tank aggro. All right, buddy, let's chill. Dude, we haven't farmed in like a minute. Dang. Dang, they all die too quick. Can't get heart steel props. Four, one, and six, again, like really, really clean game. I wish I had ult here, buddy, but I don't. Okay, I felt like eating in a vicinity of him was a little bit, a little bit much, but. There we go. He, he never, like, stays for me to kill him, but if I had flash, it'd be sick. That's okay. We're not going to worry about it. Kindred might be able to find him on the minimap if you look. Kindred's, like, kind of kind of looking around, but it's not a big deal. We're just going to work on this turret. We have ult up. We have level 2 R, so we have a little bit lower cooldown on it. Also, a bigger shield. Try to get this tier 1 top. Well, we have a little bit of downtime. We roamed so much the last, like, 3 minutes. But they're really effective, really efficient rooms, so I don't mind too much. Shelly, what are you doing here? Immediately. Just stop her. <laughs> Volibear mid, two top jungle. We don't know where. Oh, three top jungle. Twitch. Push this. I'm gonna just look for an R. I'm gonna try to use my ult and create map pressure while still being able to support the team if a fight breaks out. I'd like to get this turret. So else is almost here. I should be okay though. Oh, he's gonna send my R. That kind of sucks. Nice, big. Hey, it's alright. We'll take that. Like, we don't have to be, like, going crazy for kills. We just want to look for those advantageous trades and then look for an R on a team fight. We got his back. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, I also just a little aggressive. I like to spend my gold before I join the fight. I need to look, yeah, I need to look for these R's onto Ezreal whenever Twitch goes. Listen, Twitch is showing bot. I think we can do this. It's a little bit sussy, but... I'll just keep using my shield to tank. Big. No. No! Oh, heart seal. Oh, man. I wish Alistair had stayed in there a little longer. He, like, flashed away to where it was awkward for me. I could have flashed over the wall, too, but I just felt like I could ult him. Tank the turret. Clean up. GG. I'm going to reset. Yeah, it was, it was really awkward. 
Team Death? I feel like I did a really good job of impacting the map this game. So. I feel like Volibear, you didn't really do anything. You didn't really win the plane. Just kind of holding bot. I've got fly like the beautiful part is that once it's like twenty minutes between your R and your the teleport being reduced cooldown and your R being you know level eleven, uh, rip cannon. Um, you you very rarely have situations where you can't move around the map quickly because there are usually in the higher elo at least there are these gaps in in time and objectives where people don't fight as much. So you end up having all your stuff up right when you need it. I'd like to get Sunfire. Start building towards Titanic. Very nice. Oh, yeah, teleport up. Uh, ideally, at this point, we're playing for next Drake, so I'm going to split top. Uh, for those who don't, you know, I get asked about macro a lot. Um, macro, typically the top laner goes to the lane on the opposite side of the next objective at play. So if it's Baron, then you'd be bot side. If it's Dragon, you'd go top side. Um, and turrets, like, turrets are really, I think people misunderstand turrets. Turrets are never really an objective that you, like, push for. Unless you have some sort of numbers advantage that you got from fighting somewhere. Or if you have Baron buff. Uh, it's very rare that, like, in this situation, we would ever be, like, four manning mid lane without Baron buff. If, um, because you kind of just, you kind of just control Drake. Like, right now. You wouldn't be, like, trying to force a turret. They did force mid turret because we had Baron. So when you have Baron, you can do that. But... No Baron, the enemy team can just uh, wave clear. Then it's pretty sussy to be trying to push. I'm just wasting time. I'm just rolling this guy. It's okay. It's chill. Big. We were just, we were gonna wait for Drake, but oh wait, we didn't kill anyone. I was a little bit slow, I guess, on trying to save Ezreal. Give me the heart seal crocs. Thank you. Big W. Nice. Big damage. Have we got ult still? Oh, lame. Triple on his big. Cool, and we can get Drake. I mean, I can ult him if he's in danger, but I think he's good. Just watch him. I have to watch a map a lot more on Shen than I do on, like, Alawi. On Alawi, I don't really care too much, because usually I'm not teleporting. I'm just going to hard split push, but... On Shen, you actually want to look and see, like, how the combat's going to get a vibe for how the fight's going. So watching the minimap usually isn't enough on Shen. Usually you have to actually pan your camera over. On Alawi, I'll do a lot of just watching the head counts to see where people are on the map, generally macro speaking. And that's usually good enough for what I do on Alawi. Let's see if there's any vision over here. Yeah. Cool. We should be able to grip. Just kind of five man them. Worst case, we can wait till Baron, but we shouldn't really need to. We got Flash Taunt coming up. We don't need to force anything. However, I can get Vladimir, that'd be ideal. Oh, I just want to. Okay, okay. Kite it out, kite it out. Big! Big taunt! No, get back here! Okay, this guy. 
Uh oh. Boom. Uh oh. Really well played. Nice. Oh, I went with the kill. Super clean. Yeah, I mean, overall, just, like, really clean Shen game. Beautiful. See how we did? Client going slow as always. I need to repair my client. That's like did a good job. 20 LP, climbing into D2, coming through D2 pretty quickly. S plus Shen, baby. Let's go. Top damage, or not top damage, but we're Shen. So, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.